Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. The topic I've selected for you today is 15 business habits that you should adopt today. Now, let me say right up front, I am no Napoleon Hill, I am no guru, and yes, I've picked 15 habits, but it's a combination of habits that I've been successful with in terms of sales and marketing. So I just lump them together for you. And again, I want you to understand one other thing. Habits, right? This is what it's, for me, this is what it means. Have a big incentive to start. H-A-B-I-T-S. Have a big incentive to start. If you don't, then you will not change. And if you don't change your habits, then you're going to continue as you are right now. And let me share something else with you. I learned this from Robin Sharma, okay? But I've, I've bodged it around to, so it fits me. It's, it's talking about change in order to imp implement a habit. When you change, the difficulty of changing is this. In the beginning, it's tough. In the middle, it's terrible. But in the end, it's terrific. Think about that when it comes to change, all right? Because it's really very true. And what goes along with that is that your I can is a lot more important than your IQ. Okay, put that in place, all right? Your I can much more important than your IQ. So if you want to enjoy a more successful business, and both as a marketer and a salesperson, then I want to share with you 15 tips that will help you, or actually they're really habits, right, that will help you go down that line, okay? My name is Peter Beckett, I'm the Village Marketer, and as always, here's my tagline, right, and as always, talking to you from my little Thai village, way up near the Cambodian border. All right, first one, know what the heck is going on. Embrace your data. If, I'm, if I want to put it in a simple way, it's this. Journal every day, okay? Journal every day. What I do in my journal every day is I remind myself of my short-term, medium, and long-term goals and what I'm doing that day about it. And I prioritise what they are, okay? I prioritise what the actual things are for the day and once I've thought about what they, they really are and they fit in with my short-term and medium long-term goal, when I do that, I then stick them in my calendar, my online calendar, and I just follow the calendar. That's how I do it. That's how I embrace data. It's a habit that I learned a long time ago, but I can tell you it saved me many, many times and also got me out of some tough situations because every time I open up this book, it reminds me of my goals. And I can tell you something else. When I write things down, I tend to remember them and implement them more than I would put them online into a thing like Evernote or something. Now, that could be showing my age, I know. But if, when I write things down, they seem to happen for me, okay? If I write it down, I can then watch it happen. That's what it amounts to. Number two, have it. Love to learn, okay? Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you did something for the very first time in your business? Think about that. Because if you can't remember, then you haven't adopted many changes, right? And if you haven't adopted many changes, then you're not going to make any progress. And change is involved when you're looking at habits, all right? So love to learn. Never give up on the learning process, okay? And the other thing you need to know about learning is this. When you learn something, for goodness sake, implement it. Don't just learn it for the academic purpose, right? What's the point, okay? Learn it and implement it. Next one, every little step counts. In other words, pay attention to detail. This is a habit that I need I had to learn the hard way. Key issue, first impressions really do count for salespeople and for marketers and for your business, right? First impressions count. So make sure you pay attention to the details. Make sure that you, when you are messaging people, you are doing it right. Make sure when you are doing a pre-appointment call, you do it right. When you do your presentation, when you do your follow-up, whatever it is, pay attention to the details of that. Don't wing it, okay? Pay attention to the details and then 
you will find it's a much easier road for you. And by the way, it does require a habit to do this. I appreciate that. Next one, be a good storyteller, okay? This is a habit, if you haven't got it, it's a skill and a habit you need to adopt, okay? And what I'm talking about here is your ability to share with your potential client, with your prospect, okay, a story that engages them, that involves them, that gets their emotions going and gets them on the same level as you, okay? This is so critical in this day and age. People are sick and tired of being sold to, but they love a story. And when you tell a story and you share your vulnerability with that story, they then resonate with you. So that's a skill and a habit you need to do. Learn the skill and then use it as a habit every single day. That's my, that's my suggestion to you, right? Next one, here's a habit which is tough. Consistently be building and maintaining relationships. That is a very polite way of saying prospecting. You need to prospect every day. Do not wait for them to come to you. By all means, create good value. By all means, do your Facebook lives, etc., which I'm doing right now. And I know from doing Facebook lives that people reach out to me. I mean, that's part of the purpose of doing it. I like to give value and get, get back relationships in return. But at any one time, you need to be active about your prospecting. It's a habit. Don't put it off. Please don't put it off. You can come up with all sorts of excuses not to do it because no one likes it. But if you approach prospecting in a way that you're going to help people, then your mindset will help you overcome that. It's truly important. And if you want a rule of thumb, you should need to have at any one time in your pipeline 300% of what you need in order to, to achieve your sales budget whatever it is for that month, 300%. That's what you need. And that's going to take some effort, and it's going to take some action, and it's going to take a habit to do it, right? Next one. Ask high-value quality questions. Don't ask inane, closed questions that just to carry on some sort of conversation. Here's some examples for you of some high-quality questions. And if you want to write them down, Good luck to you, okay, because they really work. The first one is, what prompted you or what encouraged you or, or what, what motivated you to have this meeting with me today? Okay, that's a question you could ask. Another one is this, exactly what do you hope to achieve from this meeting today? Right? Next one, tell me about your current situation, problem, pain point, whatever it may be. Tell me about that, okay? Let me know. Next one. Tell me, how long have you had that problem? And what have you done to try and overcome that problem? Next one. What would happen to you personally if you didn't solve that problem? Another one. What would happen to your lifestyle and your family and your business if this problem wasn't resolved today or as soon as possible? All right? There's some examples eh, of high quality questions that get people involved and it's a habit you need to do. Your habit you need to learn and you've got to be confident to make sure you give these things, okay? Next one, listening skills. I'll be quick here. You need to seek clarification for everything you're having in a discussion with a prospect or a, or a client or a customer, right? Don't guess it. Please make sure that you listen carefully and then you seek clarification by saying, tell me something, George, is that right? Is my understanding correct? This, this, and this, okay? Keep seeking clarification, even for the small bits, because in the small details are the bits that you may overlook and assume things. And once you assume things, okay, you're off the track and you may miss the real issue and the real challenge facing the prospect because what you need to understand is this when you first ask questions about what their possible pain points challenges or whatever they are okay the answer you get is more than likely not going to be the real one right it won't be you got to engage them more they got to learn to trust you more they got to learn to to feel more confident with you they got to learn to respect you more so you've got to help 
by giving value to them, by sharing with them, by asking quality questions and digging deep with them. Okay, keep digging with them as deep as you can. So then they finally come out and share with you what is the thing that's bothering them. What is the thing they really want to get solved? So important, all right? Next one, give 100% every day, not 98%. Give 100%. If you only give a 98%, you're not really there, right? You, you, you're going to opt out sooner or later, okay, because things could be too tough. If you are 100% committed to your success, 100% committed to helping your prospect, and 100% committed to helping your existing customers, I can tell you your whole approach will be different. And that is a habit I strongly recommend that you adopt as soon as possible. All right. Next one. Use your time wisely. In other words, plan out your time. Like I mentioned earlier before, journal things. Okay, this is really important. Journal them, but at the same time, plan out your time and, uh, and prioritize what you're doing. It's too easy. It's way too easy to just fiddle around and waste time and lose time. At the end of the day, you worked hard, but what have you achieved? Nothing, okay? Because you didn't stick to a plan. Now, I know it's not easy to stick to a plan. I appreciate that. But if you want to be successful, you need to have a plan. And within that plan, build time out for yourself, okay? Don't keep sitting at your laptop or your PC or your phone for hours and hours on end because you're going to be unproductive. Build into that plan, build in 45 minute lots and get up and walk away, go and have something else, talk to the kids, okay? Go for a walk, okay? But plan what you're gonna do and then stick to your plan. That's why I put it in the diary, okay? That helps me keep on track, all right? Next one, know your stuff. This is pretty obvious, right? But you better know what you're talking about and you, you, you need to know it so well that you can share both the positives and the negatives and the shortfalls of your product, your service, your offer, whatever it may be, okay? It, I, don't, I don't care what it is. You need to be able to come up and put on the table everything. Be transparent, the positives, the negatives, the, the really great benefits, the things that they can't do, etc. Put it all on the table. And you need to be aware of what's going on in trends within the industry, especially within their market niche. Because when you do that and you know your stuff, you are then going to be regarded as a resource, not a salesperson, not a marketer, but a valuable resource. So that is one hell of a habit to adopt, all right? Please, please think of that carefully. Next one, hold yourself responsible for everything that you do. Let's stop the blame game, all right? This is a big, big habit you need to do. And I'm sure that a lot of you who are watching this have got this nailed. But just in case you haven't, Please be aware that the actions you take, right, you are responsible for. Don't blame the environment. Don't blame whatever it is. Just accept that you are totally responsible for the outcomes and the actions that you take. It's as simple as that. And I, and I can spend a whole uh, video on talking about that issue, but I just want to make the point about it. Next one, be persistent. Be passionate and be patient. Persistent, passionate, and patient. Okay? Persistent, obvious, right? Don't give up easily. Okay? Passionate. If you are not passionate about what you do, then why the hell are you doing it, right? Okay? And patient. Be patient both with your potential client. Give them the time to understand where you're coming from. Give them the time to learn to trust like, know, and respect you. Give them the time to open up with you. Give them the time to, to absorb the solution you may have given them. Give them time. Be patient, all right? Don't go for some quick wins. But also be patient with yourself. In other words, make sure you don't cut yourself short. Whatever your marketing strategy is, be patient. Give it the chance to work. If it doesn't work in the first two days and you want to change, that's not fair. It's not fair to yourself, right? Give it a chance to work. Stick with it. Be persistent, okay? Determination will win in the end. That's another thing you can remember, okay? Very important. Be persistent, be patient, and be passionate, all right? Next one. What is a habit that really successful salespeople and marketers have? 
they honestly, truly care for their customers. And more important than that, they love what they do. They truly love what they do. They love the idea of helping people to get clarity, okay? Because when people get clarity, then they're starting to make a huge move, okay? And clarity, to be quite frank with you, will give all sorts of options to people. It's very important. And that's your role in many ways, is to give people clarity so then they, can, they understand what they need to do and then you can share some solutions with them, all right? So, love doing that, okay? Truly have in your heart and your head that you can, who can I help today, okay? And when you help them, take them through that process, okay? And if you're not sure what the process is, reach out, message me and talk to me. I'll show you what it is, all right? Second last one, follow up. Now, everybody knows, okay, the, the, the fortune's in the follow up, right? But a lot of people don't do it because they wait for people to come back to them. Don't do that, okay? Have a habit of following up and have a system of following up. Know who you've messaged. Know who you've done a sales presentation to. Know when you are going to follow up with people, who you're following up, why you're following up, what was their details. Make sure you record the details you've done in your previous interviews with them, okay? Record them so when you follow up with them, you can relate straight back to them in terms of their power, of their pain points, etc. But don't avoid doing it. It's a habit that many people get into. They avoid doing it. They think, oh, I've done my bit. I hope they call me back. Don't do that because you'll go broke, right? The last one, I want to quote Dr. Wayne Dwyer, okay? Because it's all about gratitude. But gratitude is the integral part of a habit that you need to have in order to be successful as a business. And his quotation was this, when you change the way you see things, the things you see change. When you change the way you see things, the things you see change. All right? Think that through. And that's really my 15 habits that you should adopt today, okay? What I'd like to do now is give you a simple call to action. And if you're interested in this, message me. But by, by, by all means, leave me some comments and share this video if you think other people can benefit from it. But if you're interested in this particular call to action, message me and I'll get it to you. And it's called Seven Essential Success Strategies. It's coming from me. It's very simple, but it's very powerful. If you're interested, it's a PDF, okay? I'm happy to share it with you. Seven essential success strategies. I hope you got some value from it today and I'll talk to you again in the very near future. All right. Best wishes from Thailand. Okay. Bye for now.